Studios, Drew Wilson, Dan Needles, and joining us, pinch hitting for El Jefe, the Admirals going to their very deep bench and bringing us the Governor, Harris Turk. I don't have my own music. That's probably, that's <laughs> probably a good thing. This is it. What do you mean? <laughs> CJ, what is this? Anyway, the Russian National Anthem. The Governor's Wall. Well, I can't hear anything, so I, I didn't even know you were playing ah, anything. Okay. So, well, we'll turn your volume up. Oh, wow. Russia. We need Nikolai Volkov here to sing the uh, the Russian national anthem. <laughs> Majestic music for you, yes. We're wrestling. Yeah. Here we go. How are things going? Well, good, good. We we had a, a great game. Uh, not yesterday. Yesterday was uh, not pretty down in Chicago in the afternoon delight uh, game in Chicago. Well, that, that's a school kid game. Yeah. There's like you know six thousand little kids running around screaming and not knowing what the heck's going on. But it was brutal. That's guys weren't even done throwing up from the night before <laughs> yet. And yeah. playing at 11 o'clock. Exactly. exactly. Wow, what are like you guys doing? Saturday we were, we had a big crowd at the Brown Huge Center. crowd. Yeah, a lot of, lot of Girl Scouts uh, selling cookies and stuff, but it was fun. And uh, things are going very, very well. We're in first place and can't ask for too much more than that here in January other than trying to stay healthy. We're, we're a little banged up. But it's, so who isn't in, in hockey at this time of year? Everybody got a spring in their step, though. It's, it's when you show up to work and... You know, you're, you're in the, you look at the standings and you're on top. Uh, how can anything be bad? It's all good, right? It, it's not bad. I, I think the guys are looking forward. We play uh, tomorrow and Saturday in Manitoba, and then they have a, uh, some days off for the AHL uh, All Star break. I, I think there's a lot of guys looking forward to that oh. break. Uh, it'll it'll really help uh, help them out. Just to get a rest. Yeah. yeah. It's, is Ken O'Reilly the only one taking part? He's supposed to. Uh, yes. And they have a first place like, team. Only one guy. You know, we are a true team, and I don't, we're not like some team that's got guys who have got, got inflated stats or anything, so I think that's hard. They didn't take any of our defensemen, and we're also a league where they take a guy from every team, so there's representation, and so that plays a role as well. And it is what it is. If, if Cal right now is with Nashville, and if he's unable to play, they'll probably take someone else from our team. What's the process like for hosting that game? And, uh, you know, like... Raise your hand and say, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, because uh, you're a team that shares a building that has a lot of commitments and concerts and all that, and I, I, I just think people think, oh, the players and all that, but in terms of your staff, too, the All-Star break is is a break. I mean, it's... There, there are a couple of reasons why we really would not want to do it right now. But number one, it does tax your staff. You're in charge of selling tickets, selling some sponsorships, you know, promoting the event in your community, and, yeah, and the fact is... is you know, we're trying to sell our games around it. It's like, how do you divide it? Exactly, that up? because like, you'd be embarrassed if if that game didn't draw and it's in your right. in your rank. That that would reflect well in the league. But at the same time, if you really sold that game and then the next time you drew, you know, 2,500 people, you'd be mad at that too because right. you're kind of competing against yourself. So it, to me, it seems like a no-win situation. Yeah. And, and financially, they it's not set up right now for you to benefit by it. So you may tax your staff. And everybody in the community and all these all this goodwill you try to build up through it and then you don't really have anything to show for it, so it's very difficult. Other than that it's a good deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, every time I look in the transactions lately I, I see Jack Skilly going from the Blackhawks to Rockford. Rockford and then back. Oh yeah. But you have had a couple of guys that must be battling for frequent flyer mile oh, leadership yeah. that have been <laughs> up and down. Up and down. How does that you know, we talk about, um, who, we were talking about a brewer pitcher, and I said, um, it, uh, what, what was the term that I used? Uh, fragility. Yeah. Okay, does that mess with their emotions, their minds? Are they pretty good with dealing with that, going up and down? I think it depends on the player. Um, probably a guy who believes he be belongs in the NHL and is right on that cusp, that plays with him. On the other hand, we have a couple of guys who are there right now who I, I don't know, you know, I think maybe they thought they'd get a cup of coffee. And right now, they've been there for a while. Uh, Andreas Thurston and uh, Nick Spalling have both been there for a while. I don't think they expected this. So for them, I think they're just treated like, this is a great opportunity. I'm going to hopefully it'll last as long as possible and see where it takes them. Talk yeah, about Harris Turr. Harris Turr, the governor of the Milwaukee Admirals, joins us. John Greenberg, otherwise engaged today, or is he... I can't say. No. High-level meetings? I, I, yeah, I right. Sponsor meetings. <laughs> yeah, right. He's at lunch. Come on. He's at lunch. But uh, we appreciate your pinch hitting now. 
What as as you guys look at your season, how do you break it up? Some people break it up like to me. I know you guys play games earlier, but the the Christmas break time is when people really start to shift into hockey mode, get kids home from college and stuff. How do you break up your season? Is it pre All Star break and after? Is there like do you do it in three segments? Do you do it in ten game blocks? How do you personally break it up? Pre, oh, it's after the Packers season. That's <laughs> <laughs> what well, a lot of things. We, I, I mean, I have to be honest. Like the week before, uh, you know, about a little over a week ago. We were like, oh, God, I hope the Packers play on Sunday. I hope the Packers play on Sunday because we had a Saturday night game. We had very few Saturday nights, and here we were Saturday night, and we, and we, and we could be going up against the Packers. Now, we were going to have a lot of a Girl Scouts come in that game, so it wouldn't have been a disaster, but you really did not want to go up against the Packers. It's just a reality. Um, so we, didn't have, we would not have had any more games after Saturday uh, going up against the Packers, so I, I wouldn't have been, too, I'm not, wouldn't have been concerned about that. But that is something you do think about if you take a Saturday night in January, so that's all. That's.